So, so David, um, earlier when we spoke, you said you have a particular love for fish and you've had fish since you were eight years old. And I think your first program was about the coelacanth. That's true. So what is it about fish that actually makes you, endears you to them? I suppose that you could get a little world of the tropics in a, in a thing that was about one meter cube. Uh, you could get a whole community mm. uh, of fabulous creatures that you've never seen before in your life. Uh, and you could have more there in, in your own room, in your, in your home, and see how they interacted with one another. Uh, so, yeah, of course, it's nice to have guinea pigs that you can stroke and dogs that you can pat. But actually, if you're really interested in the natural processes, to see sticklebacks building their nests, for example, with a stickleback as an English in, uh, fish, uh, it's extraordinary. And to see a male stickleback change colour and look after its babies is sort of amazing. Nice. And um, when you found out that you were going to be knighted in 1985, who was the first person you told? Do you remember? My wife, I should think. And was she excited? Um, alarmed. <laughs> Why alarmed? Uh, because uh, it carries certain responsibilities that you you become part of the establishment, and uh, uh, so you have to be a bit more responsible than you are, I suppose. Okay. And then you've also um, had quite a few plants and animals named after you. Is there any plant or animal that you're just like, no, not that one? I can think of a few internal parasites that I'm glad to be not, to, not to be tamed, named after. Okay. And then I asked you this earlier, but just for purposes of the video, um, aside from natural history programs, what do you watch on television? News. Just news? Um, largely, yes. Um, yes, largely. Okay, I think I need to get you onto the Real Housewives <laughs> of Atlanta. Awesome. Do you have any message for your South African uh, fans? I hope you enjoy the programs. Awesome. Thank you.